Yeah, we've arrived in Russia and we were allowed to maintain our firearms and our military uniform as we arrived in Russia from Burkina Faso. But imagine when Kamala Harris, the Vice President of the United States of America, when she arrived in Africa, when she arrived at our uh, airport in Ghana, an airport that was built by the Chinese as well. They disarmed us and they searched us and they took over the airport. But our good friend in Russia, I remember we went there in our military uniform during the time of President Samora Marshall. We went there in our military uniform during the time of President Thomas Sankara. And today again we've done it. And they allowed us to maintain our firearms with Captain Ibrahim Traore. But fortunately, as we are there in Russia, there are some good news from home. I've spoken about the Western puppets that are in Africa. I've also told the Western puppets that your days are numbered. We are going to support the coups, the military coups. If you can see today, Mali is in good hands. Burkina Faso is in good hands. Guinea is in good hands under military leadership. If I am not forget, Chad is in good hands with young leaders in military uniform. We are going to do those coups because these Western puppets are not going anywhere with the so-called defaults. Only if we do the coups. How can an African leader be a friend of Russia and be a friend of the West at the same time? Why can't African leaders think for themselves and be man enough and have a spine and say no to the West, say no to the Americans? I've mentioned that Bazoum, Mohamed Bazoum of Niger, I've said he's a puppet and there's a coup there. There is a coup there in Niger. We are also sending this message now. We are sending this message to Gambia. Adama Barrow. We are coming there. Akufo Ado. We are coming there. Tinubu. We are coming there in our military uniform. We have realized that these votes are only orchestrated and the so-called democracy orchestrated by the West to ensure that they keep their puppets in power in Africa and extract our resource, oppress our, our, our people with the so-called Western laws and their genetically modified foods and the international laws being brought to Africa. Young Africans, let us support those coups. You will hear ECOWAS and African Union and SADC saying they are condemning a coup in Niger. But where have they been when our leaders are becoming the puppets of the West and never want to liberate our...